Hello. How are you? Let me tilt this down a bit. See how that looks. You guys come into the room, go ahead and say hello. Um, it's good seeing you guys. It's Wednesday. Got two days left in our Kickstarter. So for those who haven't backed the campaign, I cordially invite you to join the fun because we give amazing Kickstarters. You get amazing value in those Kickstarters. So share those links, spread the love, when you get in the room, tell me hello. Hope everyone's having a, a good Wednesday. We're almost done with the week. Here's stateside for all y'all who uh, are here from the States <laughs> watching. Um, we had a three day weekend this past week for Labor Day. Um, I did a lot of labor. I did indeed, I got everything unpacked. So you guys are in the room. Hello everybody, who we got here? Ooh, who's watching us? Hi everybody, good morning. Hello. Speaking of Kickstarters, um, it's hard to believe, but in five weeks, Deathocalypse comes to its mighty conclusion with Hell Witch versus Lady Death. Wargasm! That's right, five weeks. We will be launching on Wednesday, October 13th, 2021, here at HQ. Come join us for the closing, uh, for the opening ceremonies we'll be doing. It's always fun. Brian runs around showing you all the beautiful things we have. Myself, Moonshine Mel, Brandy Sparkles, El Presidente. We will be there answering your emails and questions when you guys send them to us. So, don't delay. Join us October 13th. It's going to be fun. It's going to be lots of fun. Shenanigans. Jokes. Who knows what is going to happen. I'm just excited because this whole year's campaign of Deathocalypse is our first major event that we have ever had here at Coffin Comics. It's been a lot of fun to uh, be a part of this and watch as this story continues to grow. All right. Another thing that's been going on in February coming up, Swarm Fest. That's right, if you haven't got your tickets, you should get it now. Really great value, $40 for the whole weekend. You also get a special, uh, nice little VIP package that comes with it. You'll have a probably comic, really nice fancy stickers. For those who went to FiendFest, can it was it's a really nice gift bag, but you only get it if you're there for the full weekend of events. So, make sure you guys are there. February 25th, 26th, 27th. Mesa, Arizona. We're taking over the town. You know it. All right. We're also doing a spotlight on a bunch of different creators. Diego Bernard will be joining us here at uh, Swarm Fest. He hails from uh, Brazil. Diego Bernard is one of the hottest young talents in comics. He first made his mark in an 18-issue run of Top Cow's flagship title, Witchblade. Beautiful book. And quickly followed that up with three years at Valiant Comics, where he helped shape some of the more popular uh, core characters like Exo Man War and Ninjack, among others. Shortly after that, Diego worked on a few issues of X Men Gold before assuming regular art duties here at Coffin Comics on Lady Death and Hellwitch. That's right, Diego Bernard will be visiting all the way from Brazil for Swarm Fest. Full weekend pass is $40, it includes access to the Friday VIP party, Swarm Fest exclusive comic. Collectible VIP ticket, Swarm Fest exclusive pre orders opportunities. Saturday tickets will run you $25. That does not include the Swarm Fest exclusive comic, Friday night launch party, collectible ticket, or Swarm Fest exclusive pre order opportunities. Uh, and Sunday will also run you $20 to join us. So come on, enjoy the fun, hang out with us, coffee, beer, everyone. The Sworn and the Fiends will be coming here in Arizona, Mesa. Make sure you guys are all there. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got a really great video of Joel Gomez on our YouTube page right now. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
and connect, click on that little bell so you get notified anytime we upload new stuff. And if you haven't watched some of these uh, artist videos, they are a lot, a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Um, it's really neat to see how an artist can take this just blank sheet and create a total world in it. It is so fun to watch. Uh, it's just amazing to me watching people just create the stunning art that we produce here at Coffin Comics. Also, we have a Swarm Club member spotlight today. The one, the only, the great, <coughs> excuse me, ah, God. Josh Grimsley. It's a little story he sent to us last week. He took a little road trip to Florida to see the Black Legion brother, Bob Protester. Hell yeah. Uh, you may have saw him in this post. <laughs> I bought him some books and he sent me home with some awesome gifts as well. A new coin pouch as well as a prototype belt clip quick draw coin holster. Get ready, folks. You're going to see a lot of coins popping up here at Swarmfest. Um, so this is really cool about our community. I just really love these posts of folks from other parts of the country, sometimes other parts of the world, meeting up to hang out and celebrate together. Um, this is a great group. If you're new to the group, I personally welcome you to the Sworn Nation. Thank you for being here, and let's get on to some really fun stuff here at the Catacombs. I got some great stuff for you. I was going to try to have uh, maybe Dakota come in and visit, but... She's a little shy, and she's also swamped with a ton of work. So you guys heard me mention her name uh, many times. Um, Dakota has really done great work uh, for us here in the catacombs, and I totally appreciate her. She works hard for you guys behind the scenes. She's also amazing at pulling orders and packing orders. So I just want to say I salute you, Dakota Reese, Bogus Fry. Um, kind of bummed today because we did a cauldron earlier, and Brandy Sparkles wasn't here. Uh-oh, I hear a knock at the door. Who's there? Hello? Hello? Hello. Well, hi, come on in. Hello. Come on in, special guest. Everybody, I'd like to introduce you to someone that really helps out a lot here in the catacombs. Dakota Reese. This is Brandy's daughter. She does really great work. And you didn't tell me you were wearing your Metallica shirt today. We I know, I'm sorry. I was I, I failed you. Yes. We, 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 and we you have, wore yours last week. I wore that's true. We have a couple shirts that are similar and when we see each other wear them, it's like we forgot to call each other so we could be twinsies. So I just wanted to introduce everyone uh, to Dakota um, and everyone give a loud sworn and a thank you. She does a lot for us here on the store, so Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Do you have anything you want to say to these lovely people? Before you, you guys are all awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. She's very shy on camera, but it was great to have her stop by. I just want to say thank you very much, everybody. And if you guys are ever on the store, all those beautiful listings that we put up, that is all Dakota. She does it all on her own. All right, here we go. Speaking of catacombs, let me adjust this. Make sure that's good. All right, here we go. Well, I got some fun things for you folks. Let's start things off with a little something I made. I've been sitting on these for years. When I first got um, all the uh, old Avatar and Chaos stuff that we've had that I've been putting on the catacombs, uh, before we did that, I used to put everything on eBay and I've been sitting on these for a while. So what I did is I just made them to a five pack. These are all as is. These are old reference copies that Brian used to take to cons with them. Inside this five pack I have for you is the free comic book day back in black Brian Polito Unleashed on Avatar. It's a free comic day book. I wish I still had my copies because I've lost everything I used to have. Also included will be Lady Death Wild Hunt number one by CrossGen. And yes, they all have the stickers for the reference copy. There's also a copy of Wild Hunt number two which is the first time I've ever seen this cover, or this book. Also included is the Medieval Lady Death number one, boom, and Lady De Medieval Lady Death um, number 12 from CrossGen. Actually, it's Lady Death and Medieval's Tale. My bad. So that is what we have for you today in the Brian Polito five pack, it's a reference pack. Uh, these are the only copies I have of these, so this is it. So this right here is one of the building blocks of Coffin Comics right here. All right, 
Continuing on with the fun and the shenanigans. I have for you today, guys and gals, and I'm really happy to find this. This is Lady Death Damnation Gate, Sublime Hollow Foil with Remark by Jesse Witcher. Bam, I only got the one. Hi, Judd. How are you doing today, man? Hopefully life is treating you well, and thank you for joining me today. Thank you very much. Only got one of these Remark editions, that's it. Also, coming to you from the vault, I have for you Lady Death, Unholy Ruin, Metallic Jewel Edition. This is the low number six. It is from the vault. Only one left. Well, there can only be one number six. <laughs> you know, sometimes the words that come out of my mouth, like just now, just, they don't make sense. They don't. But that's okay. As long as you are entertained. Warm to you too, man. All right, last two copies, another warehouse find by the amazing Dakota. This is Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss number one, Naughty Metallic Ice by the amazing David Harrigan. I have two copies left. These are the last two copies available right now. Number 72 and number 73. <laughs> All right, oh, here we go. Classic, classic. Classic. This is Evil Ernie, number one, Destroyer Preview, with the Destroyer Preview card that is signed by Brian, and I included an old classic Chaos comic sticker. This is the last and only one I really have. I had uh, went across a, about 10 of these uh, earlier in the year. They went out real quick, and then I just happened to find one more card, happened to be signed, and I found another preview copy. So. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen, right here. The Evil Ernie Destroyer Preview Book with Preview Promo Card, not Preview Card. Yeah. <laughs> all right. For all you Scratch and Dead fans, here we go. I have for you today a nice, let's see, two, four, six, seven copies right here. This is Lady Death Blast the Anthem Hollow Foil Edition. I love this, the way the hollow foil went on this. It looks like she's trying to beam up. Beam me up, Scotty. Take me to hell. I gotta take out witch. Oh, not witch. Hell witch. Take out hell witch. For those uh, who are backing our campaign, just a reminder, everyone that backs our campaign gets one vote to see who determines the winner of the fight between hell witch and lady death. That's right. You can change the course of our publication story by making that vote. Oh, who's this? Carmen? Is that Carmen? Carmen, hi! It's so good to see you. Hope you are doing well. All right, this book is so nice, Brian had to say it twice. This is Lady Death, Apocalyptic Abyss, Battle Damage Dealer Edition. Bam! Signature in black, signature in copper, boom. There you go. Let's see. Judd, right on, man. Right on. Congratulations. I love it when I can find a lot of the old classic stuff. It's a lot of fun. And not only that, I look at it as a way of um, reminiscing about the just running around comic book shops trying to get like a complete run of uh, Evil Ernie, uh, Youth Gone Wild, or. Um, the, uh, what was the other, oh, Between Heaven and Hell, that was a big one. My friend and I used to uh, see who could get all the different books, but he had a scooter and I was on foot and taking the bus. So of course he was able to get more comic book shops than I could. Ah, shenanigans. All right, here we go. It's mock-up time, everybody. This is Lady Death Swimsuit, Jose Varse, Naughty Metallic Edition. This is a mock-up. I'll be putting the COA as well as that Pretty little sticker, I'll put it right up there for you. This is a mock-up, this is the only one I have. One and done. Booyah! All right, another scratch and dent. This item is sold as is. It is signed by Brian, and I kept the original COA that was there. This is a really old school COA. You can see the old logos and whatnot right there. So I figured I might as well keep it in here. This is Lady Death, Judgment War, Heavy duty edition, there is no studs. So this is a stud free issue. <laughs> the things I say, 
<laughs> so I have one of these, that's it, and that will be it for the uh, any of the heavy duty editions I have with studs or no studs. Uh, this one, all the studs had fallen off. Uh, this is an as-is copy, so as-is. Only one I got, one and done, and it's number 37 out of 99, signed by Mr. Polito. This is my bad Kenny, what's up, Kenny? How are you? Good to see you today. Uh, how is your week treating you? And I hope it's treating you well because we got a short week and it's rushing by. So I hope it's treating you excellent, my friend. Thank you for joining me today. All right, I got two for you, two more. I believe these are the last two copies I have. Let me just check my notes. All right, this is Lady Death Pimps, Michael Turner, Hollow Foil Edition. Last two. These are them. This is it for the this run. I was really happy when I ran across these. Um, I want to say it was around January. Let's go ahead and take these down so I can put this beautiful Turner book here. Here we go. Wow, that thing sparkles in that light. It's beautiful, beautiful work. Um, and I was looking at these books that were just had white sheets on them, and I'm like, what the heck is this? So I took off the white sheet, and there was a bunch of these uh, Michael Turner uh, hollow foils I had. So I think I, I started off with uh, eight or something like that. So these are my last two I found. So once they're gone, dude, I'm so glad you were doing awesome. Thank you for joining me today. Also, I hope you're having an amazingly groovy day. Heck yeah. All right, more fun for you. Here we go, last two copies, again. Could have found these for you. This is art by Mike DeValpo. This is Lady Death Lingerie Heartless Metal Edition. Last two copies. Two for you. And then they are sold out. All right. And here we are. These are the last copies I have. I found these in a con box. This is Lady Death. The Wicked Half Commemorative Edition. One last copy. This is it. She is one and done. Also, Wicked Number One Martin cover. This is the last copy. One and done. That is pretty much it for the Avatar stuff I have. I don't have much left, I'm sorry to say. So if you guys been delaying getting them, scoop them up. I am literally down to single to double digits on just about the entire Avatar run I had started with uh, early last year. I started off with 17 boxes. I am now down to a box and a half. So you folks have been really loving it. I'm glad I was able to present that to you. Um, however, unfortunately, the stock is selling out. So if you see them and you've been trying to be a completist, scoop them up when you can, because that's it. All right, my final offering. I love this image. It's absolutely stunning. This is La Muerta Retaliation. This is a lethal te test proof, and it is wolves. So that means there is a boo-boo. This is wrong. The reason why is they accidentally put malevolent decimation indicia on the back of the La Muerta book. So this is a reject. This is the only one I have with this. And uh, a lot of people have really been digging these. I thought it was neat. I don't know of any publisher uh, that gives out or you know sells this stuff to collectors. So here you are, folks. That's everything I have for you in the catacombs. I also want to say thank you, everyone who's been joining me on this show. So it has been a lot of fun. Let me check my time. Okay, I still have plenty of time. If anyone would like to uh, join me for a quick little Q&A, um, I'd love to bring one you on. I used to do this all the time, but now I don't use the microphone, so I apologize if the uh, sound quality goes in and out. We just found whenever we wanted to get someone live and we had the microphone on, the sound cut out, we couldn't hear them, they couldn't hear us, vice versa. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, Carmen! You might want to, you love that Turner image? Keep your eyes peeled. That's just a hint of something I got coming up on more catacombs. Um, another thing I want to tell you guys about, speaking about the old uh, Avatar stuff, I did run across um, old Avatar uh, graphic novels. Those will be coming up in a future catacombs. 
Um, so reach out to me. Let me uh, let me know if you guys are looking for anything particular, and I will do my best to find it for you. I have a huge list already, so chipping away at it one at a time. Just unfortunately um, trying to get caught up after I had uh, some time off uh, dealing with some stuff. <laughs> yes, Carmen. Mm-hmm. Um, it was something I was trying to find for the upcoming Crucial Con, where there will be vault offerings on those three days for that event we're going to be doing uh, at the end of this month. I think we got another two weeks, uh, and then we'll be doing Crucial Con. There is a vault for each day, and I have made this a huge selection. So there's a lot of really cool classic stuff. Um, some things I haven't seen before. Hopefully some things you guys have never seen before. So keep your eye out on that. Um, I'll probably show you guys some t uh, teasers of some items I'll throw in there uh, as we get closer to the date of the Crucial Con. Expect some really amazing exclusives coming your way. So that's two weeks from now. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Let's see what Carmen says. Have you sold enough of all the episodes about... Uh, I ha everything you'll see that I'm bringing up will be the last of it. If you'd like, Carmen, uh, go ahead and PM me what you're looking for, and I'll do some digging around for you. Uh, I know you're one of the uh, completists, uh, and I'd love to see if I have anything that uh, will complete your collection. It's what I like doing. It's a lot of fun. It reminds me of uh, when I used to run stores. It's one thing I loved about it. I always felt like Santa Claus hooking people up with their collections. It's always a, a fun feeling because you're part of it with them. And that's one thing I love about the comic industry. It is, um, I've been doing this for 27, 28 years, and it has been uh, a lot of fun. Um, there's always ups and downs with any industry. Uh, but the one I, I like the most is definitely comics. Um, and the reason why is the interactions I get from people. I have met people from all walks of life that are you know rich, poor, religious, non-religious, Muslim, Jewish. It's so amazing. It's such a diverse, diverse group of fans, fiends, and the swarm um, that I just really enjoyed that I was able to meet so many wonderful, beautiful, fun people uh, in the 27 years, and heck, I get to work with some of them now. Brian, Fran. Jeff Coop, I met him uh, 10, 12 years ago, um, helping out at a Vet Ticks event when I was running stores. Uh, Jimmy used to play gigs uh, at my store for free. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a great time, and now I'm glad I'm here. Oh, who's this, Jason Coates? Jason Coates, how are you, dude? How are you? Haven't seen you on here in a while. That's right, everyone. Let's give a sworn to Jason. Jason! Welcome to the show. Welcome to the catacombs. It's good to see you. Um, Lee and Carmen's got the shout out to Jason. <laughs> you guys are great. All right. Just got a few more minutes. Uh, again, thank you everybody for uh, keeping out, uh, uh, keeping up with me uh, through these weird times. Um, funny story. Uh, I just got done moving to my first house and I did the move and I didn't even hurt myself once. And I decided, oh, hey, the last thing we need to move in is this couch. I'm not going to get hurt. And then I smashed my finger in between the couch and the door frame. So, ouch, my finger is purplish green. I'll probably lose my thumbnail, uh, but it's okay. I'm all moved in, and there's no greater feeling than uh, when you realize, holy cow, I worked my butt off and I got a house. So I implore everyone, if you, if you got a chance, save up for it. I didn't think I would ever do it. And wow, it's a lot of fun. Look at Jason Coates, dude. Dude, how have you been, Jason? How's life been treating you? Um, how have you been, man? It's so good to see you. Wow. Everybody, round of applause to Jason Coates. I haven't seen him uh, on the show in a while. It's so good to have him back. Thank you. Look at that. Karma's showing the love. You know, this one thing is, I keep saying it, guys, but if you are just getting into Coffin Comics, Man, you are about ready to meet some of the best guys and gals you will ever meet in, in fandom. I totally stand by that statement. Everyone, this is an amazing community. I'm glad to be a part of it. And with that, I say to you all, I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Jason Coates, welcome back. Carmen, everybody, 
Thank you so very much. I love you all. I'm sworn to you. I will see you guys Monday on the CCSN on YouTube. But I'm sure you'll probably see you before then. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend, everybody. Hugs and kisses.